For years, the Vatican has been involved in many strange stories. It's no mystery to anyone that there are places within the Vatican where the general public are forbidden to enter. Libraries filled with knowledge only accessible with special authorization. But there is one specifically interesting legend involving the Vatican. A story that still draws attention to this day. Rumors that the Vatican houses a piece of tech only heard of in science fiction. A time machine. Today we're going to take a closer look at this interesting story and to see if there really is a time machine or better known as the chronovisor hidden within the Vatican. In 1972, a new invention was created that will become known around the world as one of the most important scientific discoveries in the history of mankind. A machine capable of photographing the past. Reports claim that the device was created by a team of scientists led by a monk named Marcello Pellegrino Ernetti. Allegedly, this machine was capable of taking photographic images of the past. It stated that the machine worked with the principle of physics. Energy is not created or destroyed, but transformed. Marcello, guided by this basic concept, built a machine that was capable of capturing the energies of the past in photographic form. This device was able to access the lights and sound waves of the past. Not only could it capture and photograph events of the past, but it could also record sound. Several photographs were published along with this statement, from many different historical events of the past to even the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. This news spread around the world about the machine that could take pictures of the past, and the past was certainly shocking. Even better, it showed irrefutable proof of the existence of Jesus. However, it was at this moment that the story began to lose credibility. Scientists around the world began to question the validity of Marcello's device, stating that the machine itself made no sense. He was asked to explain how the machine actually worked, but he deflected. Even so, thousands of people believed that this machine existed and that the photographs were actually real, though these photos were subsequently denounced. The origin of these pictures were proven to just be ordinary photographs. The time machine began to lose its believers, and rumors started to spread that it was all just a futile attempt of the Vatican to try and prove the existence of Jesus Christ. It is said that Ernetti, in his final days of life, sent a letter to Luigi Barello, his greatest critic, telling him that everything he said was true and that the machine did exist, and that they had pictures and recordings from the past, even though later it was affirmed by a relative of Arnetti that, on his deathbed, he heard him say that everything was just made up. But the history of the chronovisor does not stop there. After the death of Arnetti, rumors started to emerge that the Vatican decided to keep the time machine for themselves, that only a select few would be able to access the machine, and they also decreed that any other person who dared to photograph the past would be expelled from the church. Though many years have passed, there are still people who believe in Arnetti's stories and that the Vatican is concealing the time machine. Now then, let's analyze this story. Did the chronovisor actually exist? Is there such a thing as a time machine hidden within the Vatican? Currently, we do not know for sure how plausible the journey through time can be. Although many scientists believe that this is something that we could achieve with technology. But just believing in the possibility of traveling through time does not prove the existence of the chronovisor, despite the fact that it continues to be one of the most interesting stories involving the Vatican. There are no concrete evidence favoring the existence of the chronovisor, only fake photographs. Many people think that these photographs are real, but the pictures alone do not prove the existence of the machine. Beyond the affirmations of the priest, we do not have access to those photographs or a clear equation of what was or is the chronovisor. Modern scientists think that the existence of such a device like the one declared by this man is just simply absurd. So we could determine that until we find evidence in favor of the existence of the chronovisor, and if we could examine those portraits or sound recordings of the past, the most coherent conclusion is to doubt its existence because it's most likely just an urban legend. However, there is always the possibility that this artifact is real and hidden somewhere within the Vatican. So do you believe that the chronovisor exists 
and that it's hidden somewhere within the Vatican? Or that it was just a story created by a priest in order to increase the faith in people by showing evidence of the existence of Jesus Christ? Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, assume nothing and question everything.